UVA scientists are breaking barriers in the world of artificial intelligence and healthcare. Eight News reporter Sierra Krug joining us live in studio tonight after speaking with a biomedical engineering expert to learn about a new tool, Sierra. Eric, Dana, yes, I spoke with Dr. Jeff Saucerman. His team's work helps us learn how tried and true drugs could have life-saving benefits we had no idea about. The example he gives is Lexapro. It's commonly used in patients battling depression and anxiety, but with the help of this new AI tool, researchers find it can also help prevent harmful changes in the heart that lead to heart failure. We're trying to combine scientific knowledge with AI. According to experts like Dr. Jeff Saucerman, heart failure kills more than 400,000 Americans each year, and its impact is supposed to increase by 40% over the next six to eight years. So the biomedical engineering expert and his team at the University of Virginia, devoting their work to finding ways to fight the vicious killer. But... Discovering drugs is incredibly difficult. Most drugs fail when going through clinical trials. So they're asking, why not use what we already have? What we're finding is that you can identify existing drugs that are already known to be safe and already shown to work really well in your brain, for example, and that has potential to be repurposed uh, for the heart. His team developing an innovative model, LogiRx. It takes everything we know about how cells work combines that with cause and effect AI tools and uses that to detect patterns to see how certain drugs can have helpful effects beyond their initial purpose. Take Lexapro, for example. Prescribed by like 30 million Americans, I believe, for anxiety and depression, we're finding actually has promise on these heart muscle cells and preventing their growth. Meaning there's reason to believe one day it could have the potential to tackle heart disease. Salserman tells me this research goes back at least eight years and the work is not done yet. Sosserman says this work would not be possible without the National Institute of Health Support. As for what is next, Sosserman tells me this research can continue to expand in all sorts of different directions, like seeing how it could apply to other drugs and conditions in the long term.